According to FlightAware, U.S. Airlines canceled more than 30,000 flights since late December because of weather and staffing shortages due to the variant, uh, the Omicron variant, that is. Now United Airlines is offering new insights on how this is impacting its operations. Paul Gerke live at LaGuardia Airport with more. Paul. Good morning, Adrian. CEO Scott Kirby was actually pretty transparent about the way the virus has impacted his operation. He mentioned one day in Newark, not too far from here at EWR, where one third of United's workforce called out sick on the same day. Right now, about 3,000 United employees are out with COVID, representing roughly 4% of the workforce, which means United is going to have to cancel more flights. But that CEO, Scott Kirby, has reasons to be optimistic. United Airlines is scaling back its short-term schedule. Rather than cancel flights last minute over staffing concerns, United is getting ahead of the issue, allowing passengers more time to consider other options. CEO Scott Kirby shared another bit of news Tuesday. His company's vaccine mandate is working. United was the first major U.S. carrier to require its employees to be vaccinated, leading to a testy exchange on Capitol Hill when airline executives testified last month. The outlier here is, is United. And Mr. Kirby, United's behavior on this issue, I have to say, has been deeply disturbing. I'm happy to talk also about the rationale for why we did it. We did it for safety. Okay, yeah. Are your competitors unsafe? Uh, I think that the world is safer um, for us. I made the decision for United. I'll let the, my competitors speak for themselves. Kirby now has data to back up his assertions. Before the vaccine mandate, he claims COVID took the life of one staff member per week. But now, United has zero vaccinated employees in the hospital, and none have died from COVID in the past eight weeks. Zero is the number that matters, Kirby added. Zero hospitalizations, zero deaths among his vaccinated employees. That's the number he will continue to strive for. And speaking of United's competitors, one of them, Delta, has announced it's opening up its hiring practices a little bit. New this morning, Delta will no longer require a four-year degree for its pilots, posting on its career page that many people have life experience that is equal to a four-year degree. So, Adrian, if you want to pick up the flight simulator in your free time and maybe take some lessons, I hear there are a few job openings. You know what? I think I'm good. I think I have some job security for now. For now. I think I'm in a good, <laughs> good place. But, yeah, this is all because of a staffing shortage with Delta pilots. And, uh, again, all the airlines looking to figure things out creatively. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.